What's up, gang? Welcome back to Janique TV. My name is Janique, and I'd like to thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and lock into my channel by pressing that subscribe button, and also click on the notification bell. That way you never miss an episode of what I'm doing here. If you are returning, thank you so much for tuning back in. I rock with you. I feel like you rock with me too, because otherwise you wouldn't come back. Duh. Listen, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about honesty. Honesty. Ooh. People hate honesty. People run from the truth. I'm telling you right now, people don't like the truth. People want to be lied to. They want to be told things that make them feel good on the inside because telling them the truth would mean they would have to change something about themselves. And people don't want to change. People like who they are. They are content with who they are. They don't want to grow. They don't want to elevate. They don't want to do none of these things. They want to stay in that lie, that narrative that they have created for themselves. And today, I want to break you up out of that. Don't be in that with them, okay? Set yourself apart by telling the truth. You know what's crazy is I found in all of my relationships, whether they be friendships, intimate relationships, or anything like that, I have always maintained honesty as a person because at the end of the day, I can't lie to myself, right? Because lying to you would mean I'm lying to myself. And it's not just important to be honest with other people. It's important to be honest with yourself. Have you ever met somebody who's literally lying to themselves? Like, you talk to them about a situation and they have a whole different view than what it really is. You're like, wow, you're really lying to yourself. And if you lie to yourself, I know you lie to me. You can't be trusted. If you don't even trust yourself to tell yourself the truth, <laughs> why would I trust you? That's not making no sense. So I really want to kind of pull you out of that if you are doing that and then put you on a path to honesty. And I want to teach you how to spot it out of other people as well, right? Anybody who can't consistently tell you a story like or this is a telltale sign of somebody that's lying not only to you but probably to themselves as well right you ever ask a person a question or you ever talk to them about a situation half the time they bring it up themselves you know what i'm saying but they're telling you something right and you ask follow-up questions and then they begin to get defensive and the only reason you asking follow-up questions is because you don't even understand you're trying to understand you're trying to get the grasp of what's really going on like you have to ask clarifying questions to really get an idea of what everything is. So when you ask somebody some clarifying questions and they start getting defensive or upset, you know they're lying. They're lying. Get him out of here, judge. He's lying. Okay, period, point blank. So spot it out and don't be one of those people. If somebody asks you a follow-up question, that just means they don't understand. It doesn't mean that they don't believe you, right? Even though you're lying. <laughs> You know what's crazy is, you know, I know everybody needs something to get through life, but to really paint yourself in a narrative, you know what I'm saying, it is not really real. You have to kind of like get a grip on that. I despise liars. That's one thing I hate. I hate a liar. I cannot stand a liar because if you lie, I think you'll cheat, you'll steal, you'll do whatever you got to do because you're a liar. I can't trust anything you say. Once somebody lies to me, one time, once I find out that you have lied, I can't even trust anything you say again. And I don't think people recognize that, like, if you lie to me and I find out that you lie to me, why would I trust you? How do you think we can rebuild from that when you're a liar? I can never believe anything else you say because you are a liar. You have proved yourself to be that. And and people like to say, you know, thou shall not judge and thou shall not judge, right? Let's ye be judged, okay? So you're going to judge people based off what you want to be judged by. So I like to be judged on honesty. Like, I like to, to put... Forth, that that that's that's the that's the foot I like to put forward, an honest foot. I don't like to put no lying foot forward. So yeah, I'm gonna judge people who lie because at the end of the day, I'm not a liar. I'm not scared. It's so cowardly to me to lie, to to tell a lie. You know what I'm saying? And and it's okay if you don't want to answer a question about something. Like it's okay to not want to give the information, but just say you don't want to give the information. Don't lie. It's so easy to say no. Like people think it's hard. It's it's easy to say no. I don't want to explain myself about that, or I don't want to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Or that's not your business. It's so easy to say that as opposed to making something up. You know, at the end of the day, when you lie, lies come with more lies on top of other lies on top of more lies. You have to cover up. You have to keep it going. A lie is just not a one time thing. Like you have to literally maintain that. And once you lie enough to yourself, you're going to start to not be able to separate the truth from a lie. You know what I'm saying? Your lines will get crossed somewhere along the line. And I'm telling you, try not to put yourself in that situation 
to have to lie. If you have to lie to somebody, leave them. Period, point blank. Why are you talking to somebody you feel like you got to lie to? I remember when I... I remember when I um, last was seeing my child's father. And the last little run we gave it, I really didn't want to do it. But I was trying to do it for my son. But at the end of the day, I was like still upset about everything my, my child's father had put me through. So I was still doing a lot of things, like doing things behind his back to get back at him. Because revenge, and, and at the end of the day, revenge is something that you do for yourself as a woman. That's what I used to do, like for myself. It wasn't for like to put in your face, but you know, you want to find something out, you're going to go looking for it. But I'm not putting it in your face because the revenge is for me. It's not for you. So this is how I used to think. I don't think like this no more. But um, I remember... I remember God putting it on me so heavy, like, just to be like, you know, just let this go, Janine. This is not who you want to be. This is not who you want to become. You do not want to become like him. Because at the end of the day, we turn into people who do things to us, right? Some people lie to us and we start lying back. We make these people, we, we give them too much power over us. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason that because they're doing something that we should start doing it too. If you're going to lie to me, if you're going to cheat on me, if you're going to say all these things to me, disrespect me, you know what I'm saying? Be disloyal to me. If you're going to do these things to me, you know, the the human nature makes you say, I'm going to do it back to you. I'm going to match your energy. Why, why would I do that? Why would I, match, why would I match your energy when it's lower than mine? Why would I match you when, when you're beneath me? You know, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Why would I match what you're doing? Why would I do what you... Why would I turn into you when I'm better than you? Right? And that's what eats people up the most. Right? Be better than them. They want to lie to you. Guess what? You still be a truth teller because at the end of the day, you want to let them know that y'all are not on the same level. We can't be. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day... I'm going to live in my truth. I'm going to stand in my truth. I'm going to be in my truth. I'm going to speak my truth, right? Because I still have the ability to do it. I have a gift, a gift of speech. Everybody can't talk. You you understand what I'm saying? Everybody can't express themselves. Everybody can't tell you what's going on inside of them. We see it every day. I know you know some people, so it's like, okay, you can't make other people be honest, but make yourself honest. Step number one, stop lying to yourself. You know, the world will follow. You'll realize, like, the more you become a truth teller, the, the more you stand on truth, the more you, like, you ride for truth, period, point blank. You'll notice people stop talking to you. Like, I can't tell you how many friends I've had fall by the wayside because they don't like that I'm, I'm truthful. They want to be lied to. And I ain't the type of friend to lie to you. I ain't the type of friend to to encourage your lies either. I'm not the type of friend to to enable your, your lying. I'm not with that because if you lie, you'll cheat, you'll steal, you'll do whatever else. I can't trust you. And that's how you can start looking at liars as well, okay? Like, you a liar. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't even want to talk to you because you're a liar. Who wants to talk to a liar? I don't understand these people. Men be trying to, to talk back to you after they lie. You're a liar. That's who you are. That's your character trait. That's who you choose to be. You have the spirit of a liar. I'm cool on you. I'm good on you. Right? But one thing I'll never do is lie to myself, and you shouldn't either. You should be able to look yourself in the mirror every day and stand on what you've done. You know what I'm saying? Even if you made mistakes in the past, that's okay. That's in the past. You don't have to choose to be a liar another day. You can choose to switch it up. Every day you wake up and choose who you want to be. It's time to choose yourself. You understand? Choose your peace of mind. You know how much peace you have when you don't lie? When you just be truthful, when you be 100 about everything that you want, everything you got going on, when you just lay it all out there. You don't have to let everybody in your business to be a truth teller. You know what I'm saying? You can still keep some privacy about yourself because at the end of the day, you can let people know what's their business and what's not their business. Stand on that too. Like, this is not your business. Like, why are you asking me that? It's not your business. Jenny, who you talking to? Why? Why is that your business? Jenny, you see somebody? Why? That's your business? Hmm. Don't do that. You're my business. Do not do that. Okay? So let people know. <laughs> this is Jenny, Jenny TV. I hope you got something from my message today. Make sure you never lie to yourself and don't lie to anybody else either. Stand on your truth and live in it. I hope you got something from my message. If you did, make sure you check out some more. I have them right here. I'll see you in the next video. Jenny here, Jenny TV. Peace.